Well, we will talk about the usage of the uh, distributions and the randomness in uh, behavior analysis. And uh, uh, we will demonstrate how to get the property values from the random property values assigned uh, for the value properties and then use them in activity diagram. So this is the most flexible method. Here we see a sample emergency response analysis when we have intruder and surveillance, uh, which uh, identifies the intruder and tries to catch it. So who will take longer, intruder to leave or surveillance to come once detected intruder. And uh, here we see the robber time, robbery time, which is with triangular uh, distribution, which is stereotype applied on the new stereotype we're introduced in 2022, applied on the value property. Here we can see stereotype triangular, right? And then you have those property values like max, mean, and peak. And then here we have uniform, and then we will create new one. Uh, robbery detection time, uh, response time of type real and we will apply uniform uh, normal distribution stereotype normal here you go normal and then we can specify uh, mean let's say it will be uh, 30 and uh, deviation uh, will be 5 so here we have and delta time would be should be positive so total uh, uh, detection time should be less and response time should be less than uh, uh, robbery time and we can put that into requirement police response uh, shall be faster than intruder left the scene delta more than zero we can say delta satisfies this requirement as you can see here we have uh, uh, text analysis which is uh, in 2022 can be switched on from uh, options project uh, uh, general, uh, general, uh, general requirements, uh, underline patterns and requirements text true. As you can see here, property is this one. And then we have no need for the constraint, constraint is dynamic. Now when we go to activity, as we can see here with swim lanes, those swim lanes can be created at any time like this and then displayed here. Um, but we already have them and you see in the duration constraints I use value properties and they come from the main block in which context in this activity is created not from the parts not from the blocks represented by the parts but actually from the main one in this context is created and we have robbery time we have detection time and here we will uh, here we have response time so I will copy this by name right and then add here duration constraint response time so now the value which will be generated for our property we will get here when we will simulate and now we want to also capture the result which could be captured those are like regular actions like um, uh, call behavior actions and here we will create a opaque action we will say y equal uh, sim time which is reserved uh, keyword for actual time at that moment and here we will pass the sim time as a parameter here we will be y and it will go here as a also y and I want the type real real here you go and then uh, x minus y equal uh, delta time so if x uh, is positive uh, uh, then uh, it is bad if uh, it, it is good uh, uh, because it takes longer to rob than to find the uh, robber but if uh, x is negative uh, it takes longer to uh, faster to rob than to detect the robber and uh, respond then it is bad so the requirement will be not satisfied so we can run this one uh, run in context you see here I get the values detection time response time and when they execute at the end I will get uh, 
the delta so let's run it can speed up but uh, I am executing here in the no configuration mode and that gives quick you see here debugging that logic is correct but actually I want to create simulation config as I did here emergency response with the with the duration analysis where I can put a time chart in timeline mode activity and also values including the delta time and uh, I can then run uh, here with the time properties like uh, zero, step delay zero, zero, 001, step size one and step unit. And then I can execute that. Uh, and I see the results here. So it was, uh, as we can see, response, uh, respond uh, 28 seconds in total and uh, uh, Rob 27 seconds in total so we lost that scenario let's run one more time now you see this is not this Delta is not uh, failing so we actually succeeded by 14 seconds and let's run again again succeeded so with what probab probability we succeed if we get every time different results right we need to run multiple times to do Monte Carlo analysis and to, to understand that what's the probability of success so here we have Monte Carlo analysis histogram we have that uh, config same time properties just we set uh, run in silent mode time properties are the same pretty much zero delay run in silent mode uh, animation speed doesn't matter because the silent a number of runs thousand and now we run in Monte Carlo and we can see here mean is actually negative so it's more than half more than half fails so 56 percent of the cases fail and here we saw a distribution and we can also say that okay and go to the expert mode uh, result dynamic all mode uh, keep open after termination and then run again and again same results the probability is 56 percent that the scenario will fail so here was demonstration how to use uh, different uh, uh, distributions out of the box uh, triangular uniform normal distribution in the property value property values and then when activity is created in that context we can use them in duration constraints and then we don't need to specify numerical distributions here we just get them from value properties and then we can manipulate the results and also get results as a monte carlo analysis thank you for watching